What's up guys? Welcome back to Reviews R Us. Today we are reviewing the Brita filter. Now this is a relatively very cheap filter. Um, in fact, if you guys check out my link in my description, um, sometimes it's on sale for $15, but most times you're going to pay between $21 and $30 for this. And this one comes with one filter. It claims removes 99% of lead. Now, this is the cheap filter. It's got a good rating, but keep in mind, guys, it is a cheap filter. So, you're going to kind of get what you pay for, I think. Now, with that being said, it says the number one brand in water filtration. It has a four out of five stars. Um, it doesn't filter out everything. It's easy setup, no tools needed. Elect what I really like about this is it has an electronic filter indicator, so it actually lets you know when the filter should be replaced. Flip on spray option, space efficiency design. Um, let's go over some other key features. So it helps with heavy lead. Taste and odor, which is chlorine, disinfection, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up closer for you guys, and then you can zoom in. You can pause the video right here and read what that has to say. Let's see if we can get it a little clearer for you guys. So just kind of pause it if you want to read the back of it at different spots. All right, now this is a full test and unboxing video. So let's go ahead and open it up. So right away, I noticed we got a manual here. But who reads manuals? We got some washers and adapters right in here. Like I said, this is very simple. It's small, simple design. Um, if you are on the cheap side of wanting a filter, then this is the way to go. I mean, this is definitely what you want to go with if you want cheap. If you want something that filters out a lot more stuff and heavily filters out stuff, I'll have a link in the description on what I recommend. So, simple design here. We're going to show you guys up close here. So this is the, the design of it. There's your indicator light right in here. On the back here, it looks like this is probably how you disconnect the filter. Here you have a thing that you connect to your spigot or your faucet. Here's where water comes down. You can set it to, it looks like there's three modes. One is the Brita, then there's a solid water drop, and then it looks like multiple drops, so that's probably the spray. Simple design. Basically, guys, you line it up just like so, press it in place, and that's what you got. As you see, it, it was blinking green. We can pop it out. See it blinking green? Now, to replace the filter, alright guys, so from what I'm seeing is, um, this is actually the cartridge, filter cartridge, and you buy this whole thing separate when you need a new filter. I just checked, uh, there will be a link in my description, I think they're like $14 for three, or something like that. Um, now, I think you can take them out for wiping off the filters and stuff but I'm not gonna mess with that now until you know I'll do a video in the future of doing that 
but I'll figure that out um, probably halfway during the cycle of using this. So let's go ahead and connect it. So you see a groove in here. There's going to be a groove on uh, the cartridge. You're going to line that up with the Brita lettering on here. And you just press down. So that that's all that's to it. So let's go ahead, guys, and install it. All right, let's go ahead and install it. So I think we have to disconnect, yeah, this. Um, so unless, no, we got to turn it off. We want to keep that here in case we need it. Now, let's see if we can just directly connect it. They do recommend putting, um, I'm not sure if it, it'll be a direct fit. They got um, things along, but we'll see. So what you do, so it's going to be a direct fit. Um, you just tighten it up as much as you can, and what you do is then you twist the whole thing, and you hold your finger, your thumb, this right here, as you turn the Brita machine, and then you hold everything together and keep twisting to get it on as tight as possible. What is that tape, um, that white tape they recommend you putting over? That also helps seal it up. All right, so we got it on there. Not as tight as we can. Oh yeah. So far, no leakage. All right, now it's going through the filter. and it's not leaking so again let me zoom up and show you guys exactly what I mean so when you're tightening it you know twist it on as much as you can and then have it facing like this put your two fingers like this and hold it and twist the whole thing the machine and everything at the same time and then what you want to do is take your two fingers again go and twist the little twisty and hold it and pull back the Brita machine so that the washer here is not moving just the machine then move both the washer the um, thread part and the machine until it is solid till you can't do that no more and then move the machine back to where you want it and you're good to go and it won't it shouldn't leak uh, we're not getting any leakage so we didn't have to use anything okay so that is done different settings here no issues full pressure I'm gonna let it filter through a little bit we're gonna turn it on hot and then we're gonna let it filter through the filter get any um, you know microfibers out if there are any from the filter before we start drinking so I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit like this with the hot water first and then I will do it put it on the cool water and, and we'll fill the glass up So guys, if you could go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel right now, that means a lot to me. Uh, it helps show other people as well that the content is good content. And now we're going to go fill up this jar full of nice cold water. If you guys live in a very, um, so it's so cold you can't really see. We're going to hold it up to the light a little bit. I can't really see anything floating around. We're going to take a drink. Doesn't, not bad. Um,
No, it's not, it's not too bad at all. But again, guys, if you want to use, uh, you know, check your water source. Um, and what I mean by that is you guys can look online in your township or if you're using a well um, and it's really dirty, like it's really bad and you're worried. I'm not sure how this is going to perform for like the really hardcore areas. Um, that's the nice thing about it, you know, for 20, 20 to 30 bucks, you know, it's not really big of a loss if it doesn't work out for you. Um, you know, the water tastes, I don't taste anything in the water, it, it seems fine. Um, you know, why I got this is because my wife and I, we actually, we actually uh, buy water. I love Deer Park water. I, I can't stand the other brands. Um, Deer Park does a phenomenal job of processing and uh, filtering their water but you know that gets costly that really really gets costly over time and and uh, we're just looking for an alternative and the water tastes pretty good you know I'm happy with it I think it's gonna be a good fit and I think for 25 bucks we just saved ourselves a ton of money because I drink a lot of water. I drink anywhere from 70 to 70 to 90 ounces of water a day. Um, you're supposed to drink 64 ounces minimum a day, and I always try and exceed that. So, obviously, I'm drinking a lot of water, and 16, 16.9 ounce water bottles don't exactly go that far when, and that's just me a day. So that's not including you know, my wife. So, yeah, guys. As of now, I, I this it's small, simple design. Yet, I mean, it doesn't take up much room. That's something I was worried about. I was worried about you know, there's really not much room in our counter space here. But this thing actually doesn't take up that much room. It's brilliant, really. I mean, this thing is brilliant. I'm extremely happy. Again, now, if you keep twisting this as you're doing dishes or something, you're gonna work this loose. So my recommendation, you know, get as tight as you can and try not to twist this. If you gotta twist your actual, um, okay, brain fart. If, if you gotta twist this, go ahead and twist that. Uh, you know, obviously twisting that over time can wear that down too. So I recommend keeping it at a spot and then doing dishes in say the left side or the right side or uh, if you have just a single um, tub here, then doing it you know, having it set at a certain spot that you can get water, but it's not going to be in your road. Because um, you, you don't want to keep twisting this machine because you're going to work that loose. And this is plastic and probably aluminum, maybe steel. But over time, that's going to work itself loose. And it's just going to, then you're going to start getting leakage. So I recommend just leaving it alone. If you leave it alone, you don't rotate this often. Um, and great thing to change this, you know, you just press the button which we're not going to do because I think it says it resets it. I think it said if you uh, take this out, it resets the timer. So, okay guys, very happy. I think you guys will be too. Take care guys. Have an awesome day. And if you're wondering about the light, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything when you use just the regular sink, but when you're actually using the filter, then you can see it green, then it actually counts, you know, I'm not sure if it does by gallon or what, how the filter exactly works, but yeah guys, so cool, thanks for watching, any questions please leave a comment, and I will try and help you as best as I can, again, if you subscribe that means a lot to me because that actually does help me out because it shows other people that, hey, this guy is not just a fly-by-night YouTuber. Thanks, guys.